Good morning and welcome to our Facebook Live this morning. If you're watching live, then do pop on and say hi. It's always nice to know who's there because I can't um, see from my application who has joined us. So I only know if you actually make a comment, just a hi or something. If you're happy to remain incognito, that's absolutely fine. So I hope everybody is well. If you're watching this on catch up, then you're welcome to ask any questions or comment and I'll respond to that in due course. Obviously, if you make any comments live, then I can respond to those um, here and now. So I can't believe we're around to Monday morning already. I had a fantastic weekend at our onstage event. Morning Molly, morning Jeanette. Um, it was really good. Obviously it was all virtual, um, but it gave us an opportunity to see presentations from around the world. I was lucky enough to be one of the presenters um, and that's, my presentation seemed to go down really well so that was nice and that's for some brand new products coming out in January. Um, if you're a demonstrator you can order them before that but I'll talk about that in a separate live. So this morning I'm going to be using our latest paper pumpkin kit. Now this is a kit produced by Stamping Up it's available worldwide and it's basically um, a card kit in a box. The only thing you don't have for this particular one is an acrylic block. So if you're a complete beginner then you do need to um, find either an alternative or borrow or purchase an acrylic, acrylic block for the stamping. It's a Christmas kit and it's called Joy to the World. So I've opened this just to have a look at it. Um, I was showing some of our team because this mine arrived on Friday so it's only just become available um, but I haven't done anything with it or looked at any of the instructions. So I thought it would be fun this morning to open the kit mm -hmm. and make a couple of cards. Morning Baz. So, it comes in this lovely sturdy box. Morning, Scylla. So you can keep everything in here. Morning, Jacqueline. Oh, brilliant. So I think what I'll do is I'll get the components all out. That's probably easiest. Take the box out of the equation. And then we'll make some cards. It's a bit dull this morning, but the light on here seems to be okay, so that is good. So we have a stamp set and instructions, some twine and some ink. So the other thing you would need then would be a pair of scissors to cut the twine. Right, let's have a look and see what we've got. So we have um, a small ink pad in with just jade ink inside it. We have the instructions for the, the cards. Now this kit will make eight cards and there are, looks like there's two designs. So this, this one here with the wreath and there's this one here with the flowers. And obviously you can swap the sentiments over. Um, it has pictorial descriptions here of how to do it, as well as um, text in English, French, German and Japanese. And then we have some more samples on the reverse. I know you can't see those in detail. 
um, but those are the cards there. Because this is a worldwide kit, we have sentiments in English, French and German. So obviously I've ordered the English one um, in terms of the stamps, but these ones here, the um, die cuts, we have in English, French and German. So we've got love, joy, peace. And they tell you what the other ones are in French and German. The idea being is you could send these obviously to um, your friends and family if you have them over in Europe or French and German speaking places. So we have these which will just pop out. These are laser cut. We've got some banners. Morning Brenda. This is the stamp set which I think is actually particularly nice. It's quite a big stamp set um, for this size of um, kit. I've popped it on the envelopes hopefully so you can see that. So we've got wishing you a very happy Christmas filled with fun and laughter. We've got Merry Christmas. Joy. And then ones here that you can mix and match. So sending to the world, to you and yours. We've got this pretty little wreath, some little berries and some flowers. So even once you've made the kit up, you still have the stamp set. Morning Tracy. These are the envelopes which have a lovely red inside and they um, repeat those words. And now we have some panels here. So there's five of these. So there's 10 of those all together and five of these. So you get some spares. This wreath, I suspect, is designed to fit that stamp set there. Okay, but also you could use just the stamp set on its own. We have a sheet of dimensionals, a sheet of small glue dots, and then we have some panels for sentiments here. These are all stitched. I don't know if you can see that on there. Might be able to. And then we also have these embossed panels. This is with our um, something very similar to the cable knit panel we had. If you can see that on there. So two different sizes. This is um, almost square but not quite and this is um, a longer rectangle. And then we have the card bases. So this is like a printed um, crumb cake and we have gold embossing on the front. I think you can see that in the light. Some of this is going downwards and then four of the cards go across. So you can choose which way round you want those to be. And obviously you can, these are completely interchangeable. So you could have them all going across if you wanted to, or you could swap and change. And these are white inside. So perfect for stamping your inside sentiment. And then finally, we have some twine that you can use, obviously. They've used it in all of the, all of the cards. They've wrapped it around the back of this one and they've done a bow on this one here. So let's have a look and see. So I'm going to put the cards to one side to start with. Now what there is um, in, in with the pack, and this is a good example of the card that you can see here, is there's a Facebook group called Joy of Paper Pumpkin 
and the idea is that you can join that if you wish absolutely free and share your experience with other crafters and perhaps send cards to other people around the world if you wanted to and that's another reason for using up these sentiments and obviously you get more sentiments than you need because they're in each of three languages so there'd be nothing to stop you using those sentiments on other cards I'm just going to move my microphone away slightly it seems to be on a very high setting today morning Jill so let's just have a look let's do the wreath one first which is this one here these components to one side so I'm going to use this die cut here and stamp the wreath onto it so let's take this so this is a photopolymer stamp set it's a really good quality photopolymer as well it's really nice and thick let's put the envelopes out of the way with our cards so let's do this stamping first so I've got a block at the ready this is a D block okay like that and I'm just going to prime this stamp up to begin with now I've got my blue on stage grid paper here so you're not going to see a great amount of stamping so what I might do is bring in a piece of scrap paper and stamp on the reverse of that so that you can see it so well I've got a piece of A4 card to hand that will do perfectly so here we have the Just Jade ink spot, the trickiest bit of this. Morning Babsy, we'll be opening the packet. So I tend to score along the edge of this seal here. Please mind your fingers when you're doing this. Is it apart? I might grab a knife actually the craft knife they're very well sealed to keep them nice and fresh there we go and you can either leave it sealed on one side so like a hinge but I prefer to take the whole of the top off so I find it gets in the way if you've left it attached so I'm just going to prime this one up first because I've obviously not used the stamp at all so I'm just going to ink this and this is just jade so just tapping all the way over now one of the reasons this make a good kit for beginners is because the ink pad is small and you're less likely to get ink everywhere doesn't mean you won't but you're just slightly less likely to okay so for a first stamping actually that's come out really well and also I haven't used my foam pads underneath so I'm really happy with that so let's ink this up this is a lovely color just jade one of our in colors so what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave this in there I think to make it easier I will put, pop it on there and I'm just wondering how defined this needs to be I'm sure there is a particular place you could turn it round but I'm just going to look through and stamp it 
quite difficult with the camera <laughs> between me and the um, image but there we go so I didn't line that up at all just literally look through it and that's the effect it's really effective so it's got this um, looks like soft seam foam ink behind let me find you a blank one well it could be pear pizzazz very light so when you put this in it really fills it in nicely okay so let's pop that one out So what I'll do tomorrow is I'll take this um, kit, Morning Carol with an E, and do some other things with it. So use the stamps and things like that without the kit um, components necessarily. So we've got that there. Let's have a look. And they've used one of the small pieces here to do a small sentiment so actually I'm going to leave it on there as well so let's have a look what small sentiment so they've got joy to the world for example um, so I could do sending joy that'd be quite nice or joy to you and yours so let's do sending joy use that block again which you're going to use another one so that I leave that one ready okay. I hope everybody had a nice weekend the weather yesterday was very mild indeed so that was lovely and she get out for a nice walk with friends So I've just stamped that off because this is a brand new stamp set I just want to um, stamp it off first and I'm just going to pop this in the centre of here. Sending and pop that out. So this is my components coming together. So I've got sending and then we've got peace oh I could do sending love that would be nice so there's two sheets of these they're quite sturdy she says now they're all attached that one has come out from there got itself hooked there we go so that says amour but I want the word love I want sending love so I'm just going to pull this one out so just do it very gently mainly so you don't stretch it it is quite um, nice card so it is quite substantial if you can see that on there so I've got sending love. Okay, let's see what else they have on there. And then they've wrapped the thread around the larger of the panels. So let's get the larger panel. Oh, that's okay, Lenny. Don't worry at all. So the way that this is going to go, roughly, is this could be um, high they've got it sort of central down here I think I might do mine high because I'm going to have sending love and I might do it across there so that you can see it because it seems a shame to cover up the lovely wreath and I could trim this down as well if I wanted to you'd lose the edges of the stitching um, but if you felt that was too big then you could swap that over 
So let's wrap some of the thread around. There we go. So this kit is available to order now and is available as always for these kits because they're not in the main catalogue while stocks last. And it's just £20. As I say, the only thing you would need would be an additional block and a pair of, a pair of scissors of, or a knife to cut the thread. So what I'm going to do is just wrap this round. So I'm going to grab a couple of dimensionals. So this is the deboss side, this is the emboss side. So I'm going to pop two here. What I could have done was actually trapped the um, thread underneath it, but never mind. And I think what I'm just going to do is leave space for a bow, like so. And then wrap it round like that. So I'm just pushing the thread onto there. Leave plenty of length on there so that I can tie a bow. And what I'm going to do is pop that onto my card base. Now I can choose which of the two card bases I would like. So they're both gold. You've got one that goes across ways in portrait and the other one goes down in portrait or you can obviously reverse those round. I think for this one I'm going to have the one going like that. So what I'm going to do is pop this onto my base because it's a lot easier to tie the bow when you've got something in situ because that will hold it in place. Okay. Now what I want to do is just pop a couple of extra dimensionals underneath that panel which I should have done before I popped it down. So I'll just cheat a little bit and put them underneath like that. And now we'll put two underneath there just to hold it in place. So what I should have done to make life a bit easier for myself would have been to put my six dimensionals on the back before I put it down. Okay, so let's just tie a little bow here. So, so it's a lot easier when this is attached because it's not skirting all over the place. And sorry, my fingers are in the, in the way a little bit here. Not a little bit, they're in the way a lot, aren't they? make that somewhat smaller and also you don't have to do a bow if you're not into bows you could just do a knot for example put that. and just trim the ends off there we go and then we've got our components here which is sending love so what I'm going to do is put this on first and I'm thinking sending and then love just just gets a little bit lost in there doesn't it I think 
what I might do sending love like that so let's put our a wreath on first just going to put three of the dimensionals So I know Baz says that she's ordered this one. I wonder if anybody else has already. Mm -hmm. So they only came out available to mm -hmm. order this mm -hmm. last week. So I'm going to pop this on with the little glue dots because I don't want any extra height. If I can find them. And if not, they'll be on dimensionals. There they are. Because it's on a clear sheet. There we go. Oh, Tracy's ordered it as well. Well done, Tracy. Um, so these are the little um, glue dots. So you can just pick one up. I know you can't really see that because it's white on white. Hopefully you can see where that is sat. Just going to put one on either side. Oh, excellent, Scylla. Plus you get the nice box afterwards to either store the cards in or store other things in, card blanks or something. So there we go. Those two there. So I'm going to do sending, I could do that at an angle to keep it in tiny, couldn't I? So for this one, you could um, use the glue dots as well. You could also use, for example, a little bit of white glue if you've got some of that to hand. But these little glue dots are so nice and tiny that you can just pop them on the reverse if you had a very fine line oops, then you could cut these in half just trim them down a little bit there we go oops. let's fucking peel these off the backs do come off quite well Sorry if you can't see that in the light because they are quite small. There we go. So there's my card. Sending love. And I've chosen to put that separately only because I didn't want to hide that lovely wreath. And then for the inside of the card, we've got um, this sentiment here. Wishing you a very happy Christmas filled with fun and laughter. Or you've got Merry Christmas. So I'll do Merry Christmas for this one and then uh, the other one for the other card. As I say, tomorrow I'll come back and do some different cards using these components do that put an angle like that just going to bring in my spare sheet for stamping let's see if it's back oh yes it's returning sorry about that I have no idea what was occurring Lovely to have us have um, lovely to have you join us, Janice. So that's in the corner, and as I say, you have got this little stamp here with the berries. So you can add those in as well if you wanted to. Okay, so that's our first card of the two um, basic designs.
so I have changed it very slightly because I didn't want to cover up my wreath so I've got sending love with the thread on that lovely gold backed card we can see that like so and an envelope to go with it okay and then on the inside I stamp Merry Christmas and a little bit of the wreath so that's the one with the wreath design okay let me just score that give it nice and flat oh, let's put that there and then let's have a go with the other design which is using the, the squarer of the um, backings and the flowers and a banner going across the centre. So don't forget to keep all the other little um, letters. Now what you can do, of course, is cut these up. So if you weren't going to use the word amour, you could cut these individual individual letters up to make your own sentiments or names because you get plenty in the pack and if you're not likely to use the french and the german sayings then you can have great fun putting some of those together okay so for our second card we pop these out of the way what I would do is probably get an envelope to put those little sentiments in once I um, cut them up. So let's get the square panel. And again, this is embossed as well. And then we have this lovely um, floral image. Like so let's use the ones from here and it looks like they've used two one at the top and one at the bottom if you are being frugal there'd be nothing to stop you just using one like so and having your sentiment across here so don't feel that you have to use everything that they've used for every single card okay and what have they added so they've got some thread going behind and then the banner it's difficult to see where they put the banner so I think I'm going to put the banner underneath like so and fairly central I'm going to just use some um, I'm going to use some dimensionals for that. Like so. Okie dokie. If you're still watching me live, could you just comment and say hi because my um, it seems to have dropped out on one of my devices and so it may not have done but because um, it says I'm live on my originating video but that would be useful if you don't mind okay and then they've got these two here so what I'm going to do is is just put some dimensionals at the top here and here like that so that I'm not layering it up too high so, oops two two and then you could put some glue dots on the bottom here or if you've got some glue to hand you could just put a little bit of that on okay so 
I've got my two dimensionals here like that so I'm just going to angle those and I've got my little bit of glue on there not really necessary um, but it will just help it stick to that gold layer looks like a face on the back look like so so there's my panel okay so I'm going to grab the larger panel for the Merry Christmas this is one of the die cut pieces so I used this one earlier and you get um, eight of these So I'm just going to use my Merry Christmas stamp for that. Let me just make sure you're all still here. Okay. <laughs> Not really loud, just clear. <laughs> you everybody right so I'm inking up our Merry Christmas here let me do it on here then you can see it so just lots of light tapping okay so you're covering that stamp do if you're a beginner do have a good practice there's plenty of ink there for the cards that you need and what you can also do is practice on the reverse of the die cut so this is the back side because the stitching isn't very um, detailed so if you want to you can just have a practice on the back okay so let me turn that over and I'll stamp on the right side if because this is a photopolymer stamp set you want a bit more of a cushion and you don't have one of our foam mats just to use the reverse of a mouse pad just to give you a little bit of um, I can't think of the word a softer backing to press into okay so there is my Merry Christmas okay and even though I stamped on the reverse it hasn't come through okay right so this is going to sit across there like that the other thing that they've introduced is the thread going round the back and they've just sort of um, if you can see this here they just sort of wrapped it round so you could do that or you could just add a little bow or you could leave it out altogether entirely up to you this is pretty with the two flowers isn't it I think I do prefer this one but I have to say I do rather like the um, wreath as well so just different isn't it so I'm just going to do a little bow with this. I think what I might do is a double bow. Let me bring this card over. So I'm just doubling the thread like that. And then doing my bow. And I tend to do the bunny ears method, which is two loops and then fold one whole loop over the other and then pop that through the gap in the middle which is quite difficult on a Monday morning when you obviously haven't had enough coffee there we go, I think that's through 
soon find out. I want it to look like a relaxed <laughs> that's a very relaxed bow isn't it really? I mean there is relaxed. There we go. See the tummy little piece at the other end. Never mind. That will do for my purposes. I think what I'm going to do is possibly put that on yeah like so okay so let's get our base card so as I said these are completely interchangeable these two whichever way you want them to go really um, so let's use the other other way and you could have this in portrait or landscape um, layout I think with this square because it's going over I will probably have it that way okay so you could either have it in the center I think it's a bit tight to have it that way it just feels a little bit squashed in but in fact it would work and you could either put your Merry Christmas there or if you didn't want to cover up your flowers you could have your Merry Christmas actually down here. So entirely your choice. So let's pop this on. And again, you can use dimensionals. You could use the glue dots for time because I'm rattling on a little bit this morning. I'm just going to use some glue. And I'm going to make it go that way. So just check you've got the card obviously the right way round like so let's pop that on making sure I get it the right way around I am going to use dimensionals for that there we go. just using two you'll have plenty of dimensionals for the whole pack so don't worry about um, using too many. There we go. It does seem a shame, doesn't it, to um, cover those flowers up. I'm going to redo this because it will annoy me. <laughs> Sorry, everybody. Actually, what I might do is a pretend one. You wrap it round like that. Twist it in the middle, like so. And then you can wrap this piece in the middle. So that's much better, isn't it? What I'm going to do is pop that down and then um, just tie that together. So let's pop a glue dot down. Let's put my put my block on there. Stop it all disappearing. fingers today there we go so I've got my little glue dot underneath there I appreciate you can't really see that put that on top Go. and in fact I don't even need to tie that so it will hold it in place there we go I do need to sharpen my scissors though 
for sure or clean them or both there we go so there's my Merry Christmas version and then obviously you can stamp the sentiment inside this time I'm going to use that nice big sentiment and then it's all done now we also have this stamp that you could stamp on the inside and you could colour that in so I might keep that if I, as long as I remember the things I said I was going to do keep that and use that tomorrow with some of my alternatives so this is the front I think that's really quite elegant let's just bring this scrap piece back as I said because these are fine if rather than doing on the scrap paper if you do have a piece of whisper white or vanilla cards to hand if you use that for stamping off to check your stamps then you actually end up with some extra sentiments to use so this is the first time I've inked this one up so um, I'm not expecting it to be a hundred percent there we go so you could just literally cut around that and use that let's re-ink it and pop it in the card and that is us done for today so I will be back tomorrow with some alternative variations on this set show you what other things you could do with it so I hope you're able to join me either live or on catch up of course I can see that's a little bit wishing you a very happy Christmas filled with fun and laughter nice sentiment and I do like the style actually as well in capitals there we go and that's the outside there we are so that's the two cards from the joy to the world paper pumpkin kit so the whole kit is just £20 and that includes your stamp set and all the components to make the cards like that and you'll end up with the stamp set and the ink pad and any bits you'll have some bits left over of these as well okay so I hope you like what I've done today I will be back again tomorrow um, 5 p.m. if you're in the UK and live um, and if not you'll be able to watch either on catch up on Facebook or you can catch it on YouTube um, slightly later and let me just see if there's any other comments oh hi Joe. thanks for joining us yeah they are both nice aren't they I do you know stepping up just do this this sort of kit really really well don't they and as I say I've not even used um, joy the flower and the other sentiments or indeed the berries so that's my challenge for tomorrow will be to use some of those elements up so thank you so much for joining me today i hope you enjoy the rest of your day and i look forward to catching up with you really really soon any questions just comment here thanks joe thanks lynn carol molly um babsy janice Scylla, Tracy, Jill, Jacqueline, Baz, Jeanette um, and anybody else who was watching but hasn't commented. Thank you so much for, for joining me. Enjoy your day. Look after yourselves and each other and I hope you can keep crafting. Thank you so much. Bye bye.